Hello everyone. Today we're going to be installing a Phoenix Automotive Tesla screen in the 2014 Mustang GT. This screen also fits 2010, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Um, I got the $500 one. It's PS, PX6, uh, Android 9, fast boot, and I also got the Apple built-in Apple CarPlay in there. And let's do the unboxing. All right. Um, I get a receipt. Bunch of instructions. Um, they have Chinese and English on them, but this is a plug-and-play radio, so it should be all straight forward. All right. And we get some, all the harnesses that we need. Um, according to my understanding, some of these will not we will not be using. We shall see. And this is the screen itself. Oh, it's, it's heavier than I thought it would be. Uh, let's unwrap it. Okay, as you can see, this is, um, I think 12, no, 11 inches. It is 11 inches. I will be wrapping this black because I did not want to pay $100 more for to have this all glass, which I will wrap it black. This is uh, behind the screen. Um, radio on, t uh, what is it, Sirius XM, I believe, or the GPS. It's for USBs and all the connectors. Um, you when you pull off your interface stock one you gotta take the clips off that one and plug them into here into these so this could clip in because there are no bolts holding this holding this radio in except these two i think all right i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it right now then i'll show you guys the installing process i will not be doing a review on how it works all right guys, so we're gonna take this one apart. Um, but first, what I noticed from how other people installed it, just turn on the ignition, kick your AC on, full blast, and turn off the ignition. That way, when you put the other one in, you don't have to uh, deal with the AC not working. All right, so right here, we're going to start off by taking this piece off. Let me get this to shut off. Um, this piece right here, you just pull on it and it should pop off. Let's see. I got this off the other day. There you go. It's just... And then take this piece off. Uh, you just keep going all the way up to here. It's all clips. There is, uh, there are no bolts or screws holding it in place. Just be careful when you're doing it. Don't break any clips. Otherwise, it's gonna start rattling. Okay. So put it in neutral so you have more wiggle room over here. Um. All right. Let's see if something is holding this in. Holding this in here. Unplug your traction control hazard and trunk switches. It's just a little tab and that comes off. Um, underneath here, all you gotta unplug is these two connectors. I hope you guys could see them. The green one and also this brown one. And put this on the side. All right, right here, all we have is two sevens I hope you guys could see yep uh, two sevens over here I'm... all right um, I grabbed the seven with the extension to pull these out don't lose them you're gonna need them put them on the side now this should just pop out we have to pry on it 
Right, if you want, you can grab a plastic uh, trim tool so you don't have to ruin the leather. There you go. Get a hold of this side. Do the other side. There you go. And this whole thing is held in uh, by the by clips, except those two screws. There you go. Behind it, you will see one connector. It's just simple and easy. Just there's a tap on a driver facing the driver's side. You pull on that and take it. Uh, these are the clips I was talking about, the white ones. You're gonna have to take these off carefully and put them onto the radio, the uh, Tesla screen radio. Okay, set this on the side for now. Now we have the ACM audio control module and the display. Each one of these is held by four seven millimeters. Uh, we're gonna have to take those out, but we do not need bolts anymore. Let's start with this. I'm just gonna take them all at once. You don't really have much room in here, but um, there is one connector back there. I can, I will show you. All right, that's the connector, it plugs in there. Pull that, put it on the side. Now, this bulky piece of shit. Uh, this one is painful to pull out too. You gotta, let me disconnect what's back here and I'll show you guys. Okay. This one is held in by the Series XM connector, radio. This is the main connector and I, I'm assuming this is for the for speakers and shaker system amp and all that stuff these are what the, all these look like that's the series the yellow one black one is the radio and the rest of the connectors let's let's grab the harness for the new radio and kind of match where everything fits right here we have the main harness uh looks like these will plug into the right uh into the car harness let's match them it's basically a matching game i'm assuming this would go here um clip and clip them in until you hear a click this one would go into this there you go um we had another one this one would go into here I'm trying to make these as organized as possible. All right. And it looks like these will go on, to, on the radio. On the radio. And these will go on the radio too. Yep. It looks like everything else will go behind the radio. This is the OBD connector to get your RPMs and speed. Um, I will run this down, but I don't think I'll connect it because I have a tuner device. And this is for the GPS antenna. Uh, looks like I'm gonna need some 3M tape to put it up inside the dash and you want it secured so it doesn't start rattling on you especially michigan potholes so we're gonna start connecting some things into the radio just start matching them because everything just fits in one spot i can tell this fits here there you go this is for my reverse camera so i'm gonna need all this all right we have the yellow one let me put this here. Where did it go? We have the yellow one. I connected the subs, and I know the red one is the right one, but I'm not sure about the white one. We're just gonna. This one should go underneath this because it's got a little tab on it that matches. And we got the aux cord, not aux, USB wires for your 
couple of CarPlay that goes in here. I have the radio in. I turned it on to see, make sure everything was working before I put it all together. And it seemed to be working fine. I checked AC, checked heat, radio, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Apple CarPlay. It's all working. Let me show you how. Um, I already did the booting process, which was really quick, probably about less than 15 seconds. But right now it's going to operate quicker than usual, just so you guys know. Immediately lights up to it. A pull car play kicked in immediately. It is wireless. Um, how do I get out of here? Nope. There you go. Um, everything, everything seems to work. The colors are not my favorite. If you can look, if you look from the top, it's darker than from the bottom, but that's fine. All right, let's select the channel we want. Whoa. Um, there you go. They say time heals. Don't go give no life with me because you the beeping noise I can turn it off because I uh I had then my old radio and I would always turn it off. It keeps trying to connect to my phone through wireless Apple CarPlay, which is which will get annoying, but let's show you. This works. You can also change the the temperature to Fahrenheit in the settings. That will there will be in another video. See um, if you AC. Wait, wait, where did I go? AC works. Max AC. You switch it where you want it, and then to turn it off, you just hit this button. It all kills it off. They have a little test testing video for us. It's Fast and Furious trailer. And if you see these uh, little arrows here, you can move it up or down. Press it again. It goes down. You go full screen. It does go on full screen. And you can multitask with this. Okay. They do give you an OBD connector, which I thought you would have to plug in. But you really don't because it uses another method and you can see my RPMs right there. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to learn my way around this thing and show another video to you guys. Right here, you can dim it, turn it off, change the brightness. I already relearned all the steering wheel buttons, which is dope. You can change this car. Let's actually do that real quick. It's here. It's user settings. Oh, this is where you change everything else too. But we're, we're looking install set. All right, the password is 1680. There you go. And let's go to, they selected Mustang High, which means uh, Mustang with the dual temperatures, heated seats and all that. Um, I don't want to say mine is Mustang Low because it's a premium. Let's say it's media, uh, M. M. Select. And you gotta go back. Save and reboot. We just changed the protocol to uh, lower trim because I do not have dual temperatures or heated in cold seats. But this is the boot time for you guys. Yep, I selected the wrong one. All right, well, now you guys know, I'll, uh, I will do another video on how to do everything else. And thank you guys for watching. This was the complete install. It does sit flush. 
I did a bad job wrapping this, but it looks all nice and fits with the rest of the carbon fiber. And make sure you guys like and subscribe, and thank you.